Welcome to another video on our channel, where we delve into the fascinating world of numismatics. Today, we're going to explore the 1961 Jefferson Nickel, a coin that holds a unique place in the hearts of collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting out, this video will provide you with everything you need to know about this intriguing coin. Let's dive in. The Jefferson Nickel, first introduced in 1938, replaced the Buffalo Nickel. Designed by Felix Schlag, the obverse features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, while the reverse showcases his Monticello home. The 1961 Jefferson Nickel, minted at both the Philadelphia and Denver mints, continues this tradition. Despite the large mintage, finding high-quality examples of this coin can be challenging due to issues with the planchettes and striking quality. Why focus on the 1961 Jefferson Nickel? You might wonder why we're focusing on the 1961 Jefferson Nickel. The answer lies in the coin's unique characteristics and the challenges it presents to collectors. Here's a closer look at why this coin stands out. 1. Striking quality. The 1961 nickels from the Philadelphia Mint are generally better struck than their Denver counterparts. However, both mints produced coins with notable quality issues. Poor quality planchettes and worn dies resulted in coins with subpar luster and surfaces. This makes finding well-preserved examples particularly rewarding. 2. Full Steps One of the most coveted features of Jefferson Nichols is the Full Steps designation, which indicates that the steps on Monticello are fully struck and distinct. Full Steps Nichols from 1961 are exceedingly rare, making them highly sought after by collectors. The rarity is due to the poor quality of the planchettes and the worn dies used during production. 3. Double die varieties. While numerous double die varieties exist for the proofs of this date, regular issue coins have just a few, and they are quite minor. However, for those interested in die varieties, these minor double dies add another layer of interest to the 1961 Jefferson Nickel. The 1961P Jefferson Nickel is commonly found, but in MS-66 condition or higher, it becomes quite rare. Examples with full steps in higher grades are scarce to rare. This particular 1961 Jefferson Nickel graded mint state 66 with full steps was exceptionally nice. It sold for over $10,500 at a great collections auction.